Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, this is going to be my tutorial on how to make your Minecraft look from boring old Minecraft to this. To this. To this. To this. To this. And to whatever you want. So, that is pretty amazing um, what you could do with Minecraft shaders. But hey, some people don't know how to install those. Yeah, it is 2020, but hey, there's always people joining Minecraft, which is actually crazy to think about so let's take a look at how to install this uh and then we'll go through some of the ones you might actually like and uh how they actually change up your world and just make your world look really amazing might i note though that you have to have a decent kind of pc to run this um when i say decent i meant like at least a, like when you look up gaming you look up budget build something like a budget build is more than enough um it should be at least and then lower your settings so this is volumetric extreme so this is the highest end for Sildurs, for example. Sildurs has certain levels, so they've got light, um, you know, light, medium, blah, 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 high, ultra. Um, so this is ultra with volumetric lighting, which is, um, you know, higher end. I'm still getting a lot of FPS, but that's because my graphics card allows me to. Um, so this is going to be more GPU dependent, um, as well as a little bit of CPU. I think uh, you'll see an, uh, a decent CPU usage, but that's just to run the game and then GPU will take the rest. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at uh, how to get this. And, you know, I'm going to show you guys how to get this specific one, but you guys can always use whatever. And I'm going to show you guys the basics. And if you have any kind of trouble, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I will do my best to help you within one day and maybe I'll even respond right away. Who knows? Because I got notifications on and uh, I really like helping people up. So let's, let's just get to this. All right. We are now on... Um, the website right here, I'll have this linked in the description. This is Silder Shaders. Um, so to get that, well, well, actually, let's let's take a step back. Let's go and get um Optifine. So that's gonna be the first thing you're gonna want to do. So with the shaders, mostly most of them work to the most recent Optifine version, and you're always gonna want the newest one. So when you're on the Optifine page, I'll put that in the description. Also, if you want that, um, which actually, well, what am, what, what what am I saying? You you probably are gonna need that if you're new to installing this. Um. So yeah, let's see here. Let's go to the mirror and then all you get. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. I'm getting way ahead of myself. You're going to want to go to um, the page right here. You're going to want to go to downloads top right. All right. And then you're going to be on this page. Instead of clicking download, which will take you to an ad. And you don't want that. If you click something accidentally on that ad, <coughs> well, there goes your PC and you get a virus. Well, it, you can get rid of it, but careful. Just always be careful. You never want that data. You never want that data or anything leaked like that on a website like that. So you just want to uh, skip the download right here and click mirror. And all you're going to have to do is click download right here. Click that and it'll download right here. Keep, um, I have some kind of protection on and wow, that opened up Roblox. Um, but you just click that install and it'll do everything for you. So once you have that open, you're going to want to go to Minecraft launcher. So when you have that installed and you've done that, it should have uh, Minecraft right here. Just launch that. Click play on Minecraft and it should open like this. Hold on, give it one second. Sorry. It should open like this and then you make sure that you see shaders option there. But now your folder is going to be completely empty. So you're going to want to go to the shaders folder. You can keep that open if you want. So once you click that, it'll bring up this tab right here. Sorry, it's, it's lacking a little bit, but that's because it's on display capture. So now that you have that installed, it is time to download your shader of choice, so to say. Make sure it's compatible with your Optifine version. So I downloaded so say I have 1.14.4, you're going to want to download that, um, which, you know, I, I recommend you do if you want to play the newest version of, newer version of Minecraft. Right now, um, 1.15 is not even supported as, well, as 1.16 is also going to be coming out soon. Well, I say soon, I don't know how soon, but I know the snapshot's out, so, you know, they're working on that, obviously. But I'm surprised that 1.15 is not supported yet, so max right now you're going to have is 1.14.4 with Optifine at least. And I don't even know if some shaders will even have support for 1.15 if it's possible. But we're sticking with 1.14 because, you know, that's the easiest. Okay, so what you're going to what you're gonna want to do, if, if you want to, you can read through their article right here on how to install it. But that's why I'm making a video because some of you guys don't like to read. I, I don't know. All right, so let's go to downloads here. This is what I meant right here. So they have light, medium, high, high motion blur, extreme, extreme volumetric lighting. So this is what I'm using right here, the bottom one. This is meant for higher end PC. So I'd say maybe anything above a 1070 should be able to run this, no problem. And everything else, you know, just just download ones you think your PC could run and just test it out. It'll definitely make a difference. But the one you're seeing from me is going to be the highest one. Just because I want to show you guys what, you know, the potential of shaders. Because it really is amazing. It'll, okay, even if you get the light one, like this one right here. It still changes Minecraft and it looks so different. So you're going to want to, um, yeah, download whatever one you want. So if you click download right here, you're going to be coming to a page, right? So this is what I mean by it. Like all these ads, you see all this stuff popping up, the notifications, your download is ready. Don't click any of this stuff. Don't click it. 
click skip right here. Now all you're gonna want to do is just download the file. So I already have it installed. I actually have two installed for some reason. I don't know. But all you're gonna do is click this. It'll uh, download right here and drag it onto your desktop. Okay. So drag that and it'll put it on your desktop somewhere right here. Okay. So then what you're gonna want to do, close that and go to your desktop. So um, for you, it'll look like uh, something like this. Okay. Say this is your shader. It's on your desktop right here. This file, drag that into your shader packs. So you remember how to get there. Remember on Minecraft, let me bring it back up for you guys again. So you're gonna be you're gonna be chilling right here on your Minecraft world, your normal Minecraft world without shaders. You're gonna want to uh, videos, video settings, um, shaders, shaders folder, and that'll bring you to that folder. And then just drag it in there. Perfect. All done right here. It'll be uh, where is it? Uh, hold on. It is right here. So it'd be like this one, one of the soldiers ones. You just drag that in, close that folder. Uh, you don't have to restart Minecraft. It should appear in your shaders thing right here in this area, and just click it, click done, and that's uh, that's it. That's that's all you gotta do. And then you're ready to go and play Minecraft with all these cool shaders. I mean, I'll show you guys a few other ones, but um, this one's my favorite. Um, it looks very nice. I've done a video on this, um, which actually did go. did do pretty good. I'm surprised. I was not expecting that. Um, so thank you for the people that actually supported that video. And, uh, yeah, and hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this one, too, and hopefully I teach some of you guys uh, how to install shaders, because there's a lot of people that don't know, and I remember when I came back to Minecraft after five years, even though I've been playing for, like, ten years, I completely forgot how to do anything, like, mods and everything, I completely forgot, so I went around looking out for tutorials, and, uh, and I learned again, I, re I started remembering things that I forgot about that happened when I took a, like, three-year, four-year break. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, Minecraft, look, look how good this is. Oh yeah, and you just click C to zoom in, which is pretty cool too. Um, sorry if the frame counter up there is bothering you. Uh, I know most people actually have that turned off for videos, but I just have it because, you know, why not? I don't, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, it makes your Minecraft look a lot better. Here's another one. I'll show you another example. Sorry about that. Um, let's go to, like, BSL shaders. This is another one that looks very good. The lighting is, like, look at that. Ooh, that's nice. And then you just got a nice, clean look on everything. It might even look better for you because the monitor I'm using actually has saturated, like not saturated, but like dull colors. So that color is not as good as it is probably for you guys if you guys are on an IPS panel. Uh, so, but if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry. <laughs> It'll look good for you. All right. So I think that's, I think I'm going to leave this episode um, here. Um, hopefully, oh, oh, hopefully you guys liked it um, and let me know if you guys want more. But after this video, if you want to learn how to install these texture packs ah uh, yeah so that's gonna be for a whole different video i'm gonna be showing you guys right after this video you guys can go straight to the other one that's after this one which is gonna be the texture packs video um i will get that one up after for the people that have actually watched it immediately uh i don't know how many there you know how many there will be but you know this also brightens up your minecraft can change your minecraft look plus shaders it's also shader compatible which makes it amazing sometimes you might might get a little bit of interesting things like this bam this bamboo looks a little like something's wrong with the lighting there but hey that's all right maybe you got to restart minecraft it, i have no idea but it still looks nice changes up the world even more and i'll show you guys in the in the next episode or next i'll show you guys in the next video how to do it and uh i'll walk you guys through that but uh for now i'll see you guys later